Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another video uh, on this beautiful channel right here. Uh, what we're doing today is actually, uh, let's see, we are continuing on on our game. So let's just do that. I changed a few things since last time, so I'm going to just, uh, just go through that. We need something... We need something that prints out the actual character as well. So let's just do that. So we'll be doing that. And, and we can have that function in in uh, in character. So we can just call that print all. Like get a string. So we'll get the whole character and all its stuff. Uh, the character stuff in a nice neat little string here. So it should be a part of here. String. Get a string. There we go. And we'll do that constant. Initialize is good. I changed initialize a little bit. So what I did was uh, I removed the level thing. Since we just want to initialize it to level 1. Uh, when we have a character that's saved, we'll still just have a function called load character. And then we can take care of all that stuff. So initialize is just to get started from level 1. And that all we need to give is a name here. So, yes, what we can do is just to keep on this optimizing path that we're going, we'll stay as optimized as possible. Um, and that should be fine. So, we'll just take a constant string in there and then we'll do this as well. Um, so, we got get a string and we'll, we'll actually finish this today just now and, and we'll make sure we can uh, we can print stuff out so what I did was I added this formula now pause the video and look at it carefully just straight up take this because this will give us an unlimited level cap there is no level cap and what will happen is we'll just get harder and harder and harder to level up and we'll just keep going and uh, that's the way I do my games at least when it comes to leveling always an unlimited level cap and there's always something you can increase but it's after a while it'll be that's very, very slow. So it's like, it's basically TBS uh, formula here. I just switch, I'm going to switch up a, a few things here. Um, and then we're going to have a nice, nice, nice leveling formula. And we'll have a function called level up as well in here. So we'll just say level up. Okay. Level up. And in this level up, actually we'll have this right there. We'll have it here. In the level up function we will make sure that exp and exp next so level up and uh, exp will be so we'll have to figure this out exp next is going to be what it was and exp is going to be minus uh, whatever the last one was so exp equals we're going to have to have a thing here if exp in larger equal to exp next. Okay. Then we're going to have exp minus exp next. Next. Okay. So exp equals exp next minus exp next and add that to level at that. And then exp next equals this. Now I'm not sure how this formula was if I have to remove the old exp next or I don't think so. I think this should be fine since exp will be zero again. And we should have a while here actually in case we while wow, exp larger equal to exp next bam 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 Okay, so this is our level up, and what we'll do is, I think we have a thingy in main level up. Yeah, so if we save on a lot of, lot of, lot of EXP, we can just call level up, and then it will just go through everything and uh, level the character up. And what we need is, we need some points here. So we need XP, we'll do that down here. So we'll have int stat points, we'll have an integer skill points. So we'll start with these two, and we'll see where we go from there. So st this stat, this skill, okay, and 
this is that uh, we'll just say zero. Okay, and what we need is we need some stats. So we need an int string. I think that's how you spell it. Int say vitality, strength vitality. Or dexterity int allegiance for like magic fine and stuff I guess or yeah stuff like that well uh, I guess this is vitality strength vitality dexterity for defense health damage and the movement traveling and stuff and all the other stuff magic find and so I think this should be fine actually I think this should be fine I think this should be fine. So we'll have these. We'll have these. We'll just start them off at 5. Okay, so the thing here is all of these will depend on these. So what I'm going to have to do eventually is actually I have to do this. This is smarter because all of these depend on that and we'll have our our stuff structured here so we know what comes first in priority or order so these are the priorities these nothing depends on these actually I mean everything here depends on each other but these are just to increase these and uh, yes we'll do that here as well do that here as well We'll do that. So we have our stats and we have our uh, attributes and we'll just start that off here. Okay, get a string and it will level up and it will increase this stat. Okay, this skill like that. I'll, I'll keep using this actually just so we know what's going on right there I know this is a little a little uh, what do you call it it looks a little bad you know but I had to do this because we had the zoom in and stuff like that but uh, this should be fine this should be fine we need to do expose this y plus as well so we don't forget that and initialize we'll do the same we'll just start the the dude off at zero and you can go in any direction any 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 direction and every every step you take is point one I think so we'll have a lot of lot of space to work with I'll think I'll think about that we'll see how we'll make that system go there um, but yes but yes so we have that we have that and okay so that's about done let's just do this get a string and this is gonna be a pain because yeah it's this is a lot of data so let's just start off with let's just start off with this let's make a nice little beautiful thing here we'll use some IO manip stuff later um, just to make it real nice, um, but we'll start with this. So it's, uh, it's a character sheet. Let's say name, name. Okay. And why are you complaining? Why are you complaining? Why are you complaining? Is there no IO stream in here? Stream. IO stream. And then we'll make sure we remove IO stream from here because we're already doing that. We might as well do IO manip in here as well because we're going to use that. So you, you see, character is going to be included, so we don't need to include everything else in here as well. So uh, there we go. There we go. Let me just see how long we've been going here. Ah, we're fine. Okay, so name. Then we'll have level. Actually, we 
do not. I don't know. Maybe this looks good. Who knows? Let's check it out. Level. Um. Uh. Level. Actually, uh, if I copy this, it'll be easier. EXP. EXP to next. Level. EXP next. What else do we have? So that's all the level stuff. Then we'll print out all these. Yes. So we'll have one here that has set fill. How how was that? Set. Oh. Fill. Okay. Ten. Okay. I think that might work. I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll we'll see how that works. Uh, anywho, anywho, level, strength, strength, strength. All kinds of strong, right here. So we'll have strength. Vitality, dexterity, intelligence, int, dex, dex, vit. So we got that. Then we will do that again, and and do this, do this. Okay, so now comes all the pain stuff here. Um, let me just do this. Maybe I can see what we need. HP, HP max. So we can do this. H, HP. This, HP. This, HP. Max. Just like that. And... Stamina. So stamina can go from zero to oh, I think int max is required here as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. I think so. Okay, let's just say that. Just for now. We'll change all that stuff later. Uh, so it fits with all the stats. Mm, just like that. Whoops. I think I was a 170. One. 170 is good. 170 is good. Okay, uh, so we got stamina max. So we'll do the same thing here. This equals stamina. Stamina max. Now, in case you don't know, I, I actually, yeah, maybe you're really confused about this, but just this is a point. This is a pointer to the current objects, to the current object itself. So this just states that okay, it is to myself, and I will have, I want to access my HP max variable. Well, if you see the tutorials, you'll understand. But I didn't even think about that. I guess I guess you guys know all this stuff. So I'm just going on. Um, in worst case, you can Google it. Uh, you'll get a nice answer right there to what that is. Uh, so I'll just go full speed ahead. I, I'm not gonna do any tutorials in this, these videos here. Um, in that way, this is more for like seeing how you structure everything and just follow along. And then you can just, if you're confused, you just Google it and you'll find it, or watch my tutorials and you'll you'll understand. So we'll just go ahead. Um, set W. HP stamina is done. Now we need damage and we need defense. Oh, this wasn't too bad. This damage. 
Oh, we're gonna need some of these. Some of these. Damage min to damage max. And defense. Okay, so there we go. And we might have a end line here as well. Just to end that. Make sure there's a space in the bottom. So, okay, that wasn't too bad. Main game. Here's our menu. So, we'll make sure everything is uh, good here. Quick travel shop rest. Choice. Okay, so that ends the line. And that line. Whoops. Just to make a... Let's see where we need some of these. So, after we do the choice... We're just going to, depending on the choice, something's going to happen. So what we have to do is that. Okay. So, okay. Case. Let's do case five. Whoops. Break. Case five, break. And here we'll have our character. Uh, main menu. So in game, now we actually have to make a character in here. <clears throat> okay. So we'll have a character. Whoops, what the hell is that? Character. If you if you write something unfinished and you press control space, you get the uh, full version of it. So that's a little shortcut you can use. And uh, if you have a menu up here and you can go up and down if you press tab it will make sure it uh, uh, prints it out so there you go character 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 <laughs> uh, well okay here you see it's case sensitive which is important so we have our character and when we start our game when we start our game we're going to say character initialize mm, mm. Actually, when we start the game, so we need a game initialize as well. Init game init game. Okay, so we need that. Whoops. Okay, so we need a init game, and there we go. And what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, that. Oh, whoops. Get line. STD. Get line. Sin. Let's see here. Let's do that. Sin name. Okay. STD. There we go. Maybe it's not a part of STD actually. Or no, it is. It is. No, it's not. Okay, fine. That's cute. Um, there we go then. Uh, so we got the name in here. So there dot initialize name. So we got a name, and we initialize the character with the name. And the thing is that when we start here, game dot Actually, game dot initialize is gonna occur right here. Init game. Okay. The reason we do this is because the constructor. I just want to use the constructor here for all this kind of stuff. You know, like like just straight up nullifying things and initializing some stuff like that. I don't want to do this in the constructor. So I have another function that takes care of that. So we have that, and then we will jump right into the main menu. And if we press five. We're going to character dot get a string. Okay, so it actually returns the string, right? I have to actually fix that. No, this actually. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? I did something wrong here. What we need is just void print two. 
screen or print or wait uh, print stats print stats is a better name sorry about that well I get confused sometimes uh, it doesn't need a return if we just use iOS stream in here it won't uh, it won't need any type of return thing I was thinking I'll return all of this as a string but we I don't want to use string stream just yet not for this it's not really necessary print stats might as well just do this since it's console <coughs> excuse me excuse me alright bras say its name is uh, bra okay so let's just print the character sheet and we get our level level to next 16 HP oh this is kinda strong I don't know about this Oh, it takes the next line. Okay, I see, I see, I see. No big deal. No big deal. It's just that. And it seems to be working. And then you can just quit the game. Bam! Alright. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and just remove that for now. Since you don't use, sometimes you don't use libraries a lot. And then you forget how you actually, I actually just made a video on I omit it, but it was it was a while back. I actually just forgot, uh, honestly, how to do that. But I'll check it out because we 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 should use it and make it look real nice. So yeah, that's it for this time. We managed to just print some stats out to screen. Next time we might fix all of these things. And make sure everything is uh, dependent on these four here. And actually, before we go, let's just add, let's just add a int magic find. Um, I know I'm using integers a lot here, but why not, you know? Why not? Well, magic find will help in some type of percentage situation. So, or luck, luck, let's call it luck. Luck is better. Magic find so mainstream. Luck. So, then we'll print that out as well. This luck equals zero. It's luck. Here we go. So luck. All right. So there we go. There we go. I'm pretty pretty sure that is it for now. Then cool. And then we'll just fix all this stuff next time. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and keep following me on these and. Even if you're like intermediate, I'm sure you can learn some stuff. So because we're gonna make dynamic containers and all kinds of stuff in here, so it'll be it'll be really fun. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.